I'm Mike Hendry, and we are more or less in the middle of our Hendry Vineyard. This is the source of all of the grapes that we uh, make into wine. All of our wines come from our state vineyard. We're really on the northwest corner of the city of Napa. Carneros is just to the south of us. I think that when it comes to talking about the wine, understanding the context of, of where we are in Napa and some of the history of Napa is important. As a growing region, Napa really started with commercial viticulture around 1860 uh, and some of the first vineyard in Napa was planted on parts of this property. Everything that we have, which is 114 acres, was planted by 1880. Uh, and then there were two major things that removed a lot of that vineyard and the first was phylloxera uh, and the second and I think more serious was prohibition. So at the time my grandparents bought this and there was only six acres uh, of vineyard on the property. We have a picture of this property in 1888 and there's not a single grapevine on the property. Uh, but also through reading records we know that everything here was planted in 1880. Uh, and I'd always suspected that it had been phylloxera that had wiped it out in that time period. I think one of the things that people forget is that the Napa that most people picture when they, when they think of Napa is a fairly recent thing. In, in the 40s and 50s and 60s, agriculture in terms of the production of animals, goats, cows, sheep, chickens, turkeys, uh, was a much bigger industry than grapes. So the Napa that my dad and my uncle grew up with here was very different than it is today. In the 1970s, my uncle really replanted most of what we have here to vineyard. My dad was a professor down at Berkeley. He taught agriculture and he was smart enough to know that he needed to keep his day job. That meant that my mom, who had been a school teacher in Berkeley, got to do a lot of the hard work here in the early days. For a little general farm, we had dairy cattle, plum trees, um, we had a walnut grove and we had a small vineyard. Uh, and that continued a period of years where we exclusively sold grapes. Uh, between 1939 and, and 1992, all of our grapes uh, we sold to other wineries. We started making our own wine in 1992. In 1994, we added an adjoining property to the south we started building our winery building in 2000. Uh, our first harvest there uh, was in 2001. All the wines we produce come from this vineyard and it's all made right here. So every step of the process from growing the grapes through to bottling we do on the property here. Um, and one of the things that's important to us is the fact that we've been farming here for as long as we have. Uh, there aren't many people who can say they've been farming the same vineyard in Napa for more than 70 years and that's one of the things that we're proud of.